so inspiring. The story she told me was about her mother. Her mother had been raised in the 1950s in a traditional conservative Irish Catholic household in a small blue collar American city. When she turned 18, she did exactly what her mother before her did and her grandmothers before that and all the women in her family's lineage since the dawn of recorded history. She got married and she started having babies. In quick succession, she had five children. And when the oldest was 10 and the youngest was two months old, this woman's husband left her. Went to work one day, never came back. They never heard from him again. Oh my God. Thus leaving this 28-year-old woman with a high school education all alone to try to figure out how to raise five children in the world. And she did it. I actually don't know the details of how she did it because I cannot even imagine the details of how she did it, but she did it. She managed somehow to find a way to keep those five children housed and fed and clothed and educated, and she safely escorted each one of them into adulthood. And I think for that alone, we can all agree she was a hero. No question about it. Amazing. But that's not the only thing she did. She did something else that's really singular, which is why I'm telling her story here today. The very week that her husband left her, the very day that she put it together that he was never coming back, she made a solemn vow, a promise to her own life. She swore upon all that was good and holy that her life was not always going to look like this. This much poverty, this much sorrow, this much suffering and repression. And specifically, because you gotta get specific about your dreams, she promised herself this, that someday, no matter what it took, no matter how outrageous and outlandish it seemed to say so right now, someday, she was going to see the world. And then she did an interesting thing. She got herself a coffee can, just a regular, humble, empty coffee can from the kitchen. And she hid it in the back of her closet where her children would never find it. And starting that very day, the worst and lowest day of her life, she began a practice of putting one dollar a day in that coffee can toward her trade. One dollar. Her reasoning was this, her family was always broke, always desperate, always in dire straits, but there was never a single day when a single dollar was gonna make or break that family's history. And so she would peel that one dollar off for herself, one dollar that was often not easily found, and she would put it in the coffee can. And when that coffee can was filled, she got another, and another, and another. And she had another solemn rule, which is that she could never touch that money for any other purpose, no matter how severe the emergency, and you gotta figure, you guys, five kids, that's nothing but emergencies. Like, how many trips to the emergency room is that a week, right? But she never tapped into that money for any other purpose, and she never stopped adding to it. And she kept to that dream. It took almost 20 years, almost 20 years before all her kids were safely raised and grown, even the youngest, out of the house, living independent adult lives. And then, then she cashed in the coffee cans. And she bought herself a ticket on a freighter ship setting out to sea. And she spent the next year traveling around the world alone, just as she had always promised herself she would do. She did it. She delivered on it. Incredible. What, what I think is amazing about this story, apart from literally every bit of it, what I specifically think yeah. is amazing about this story is the reaction that her children had when this woman did this. They were so shocked and flabbergasted by their mother's action, they couldn't believe it. They were like moms doing sailing, where are they? <laughs> like couldn't even take it in. They never saw it coming. For one thing, they never knew she had the money, which is understandable, because she did a really good job hiding it from them. <laughs> but for another thing, and this is what pierces me in the heart, they never knew she had the dream. These kids never for a moment realized or comprehended the idea that their mother might want anything out of life other than to serve them. And she did want to serve them. She was a beautiful mother. She took incredible care of them, but that is not the only thing she was because buried somewhere deep inside that woman, there burned a question about the world and her place within it, and she was not going to go to her grave until she had answered that question. So she went and she answered it. And the other thing, that I think is incredible, but actually sort of typical and human about this story, is that while she was out there having her odyssey, her great adventure, back home, all her friends and neighbors were like, man, 
she's so lucky. I wish I had that life. There's no luck in that story. That woman wrote that story with her own hands. With her own hands. The moral of which is, of course, you do not need to begin your hero's journey today if the circumstances in your life forbid it, but you do need to start making your plan. Get your coffee cans going, whatever that might mean to you. Get those coffee cans going and take the long view if you have to, but don't you dare give up on the question that burns inside of you about the world and your place within it. Don't you dare. Don't give up on that.